In this video, we are going to walk through steps on how you can establish a heat map where you'll be able to see where temperatures are high, temperatures are low, rainfall is low, rainfall is high. So in this case, I have um, temperatures and average uh, monthly rainfall for five cities across the world. So that you're able to see the different temperatures and how they look when you want to in give it in forecast or any other weather related uh, presentation or any other data that shows high, medium and low but without having to look at the figures but through visual expression in different colors. So we're going to use the three scale scheme that comes with Microsoft Excel by default so that we're able to express these values easily. So for you do that, you have to use what is called conditional formatting. So here let's walk through the first stage of how it looks. So if you come here and then say conditional formatting, then we come here to say um, a color scale, we say red, yellow, green. So as you can see, once we've done that, uh, it appears like this, but you can see that here it's clearly visible because of higher figures. And here, it's somewhat not very clear because we can see here it's a bit green and a bit yellow there. So let's select this, come under conditional formatting and format it using any of these other colors. So if we use red, you can see it comes like this. Then if you come and use a um, color scale and want to use yellow and uh, green, as you can see here, yellow and green shows that he is high, he is high and it's low. Just like here we say is red is high, red is high and yellowish it goes fading down. But then you can further adjust these rules. So if you come into conditional formatting and you say manage rules. Under manage rules here, you can be able to either delete the rule or edit the rule. And edit the rule, which means that you can choose uh, the, the color grid scale. So by default, it comes with the two color grid scale. So here you can see a three color grid scale. And then you can define your lowest point, which one do you want it, let's say this be this grayer and then we say this should be medium grayer and then this one here it can be bitter grayer you can choose and then once you click apply you will see that this is what happens with that graph it appears like this but these are all options that comes in with uh, customizing these rules and you can do that to make them fit in depending on your taste and choice so this is how you do it uh, in Microsoft uh, Excel. So I would like to say uh, thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. We will be able to do more productive uh, videos that show you how you can improve your visual graphics in Microsoft Excel. So let's like say bye for now and ciao. See you in the next one.